I'm teaching him how to do it the only way I know how to teach it. Whereas you have to frame a 15 minute or a 60 minute draw on liquidity where the market's likely to go. And then on a one minute or five minute chart, if you're bearish, there has to be some run above a five minute swing high, even while it's been going down, it has to go up above it and start trading lower again. And then once it does that, you can drop down into a 30 second chart and take a five, I'm sorry, take a, a 30 second fair value gap. Because the damage has been done on the five minute chart. It, it, it could have been a stop run on a swing high in a one minute chart. See, that's what a high frequency trading algorithm is doing. So you don't fucking know that because these clowns out there are talk, talking about algorithms. These want to be quants. You might talk about all kinds of shit and call things quant. You may say your shit's algorithmic, but it's retail. But every fucking high frequency trading algorithm, every single one of them, has to have a disruption in order flow before they will institute a new order. That means they cannot go short until it goes up. It has to go up. Why do you think I taught you discount premium? Because I am algorithmic. Enigma is fucking talking to you. It's not a yin and yang fucking symbol on some bullshit. The market has to go up, purge some measure of liquidity. If the market does, I don't give a fuck what market it is. But if you're bearish and on a five minute or one minute chart, if a swing high, a short term swing high, when that five or one minute chart is taken out by one tick and it trades lower. As soon as it trades lower, on well, what time frame are you talking about? Whatever time frame that liquidity was taken on. If you see the swing high on the five minute chart has been pierced by one tick is all it takes. It doesn't need to fucking close above it. It doesn't need to have a certain measure of handles above it. One tick. Once it does that, that's a disruption. That's a disruption in order flow. That's it. That starts the sell program. Then on a lower time frame, it can be a five fucking second chart. It could be a one second chart. Okay, It doesn't matter. But I gave him a 30 second chart because it's easy to get in there and take a fair value gap after that disruption in order flow. Knowing that the market will gravitate towards that liquidity. We need not see it trade to it. Now, some of you that are familiar with watching lower time frames and have been with me for a while, your fucking gears are turning right now. You're like, holy shit. I can see this, and I'm not even looking at the fucking chart. I can understand exactly what he's saying right now. His juices are flowing, aren't they? Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> it's there every day, every hour, every 15 fucking minutes. It's there. So forget the 90 second or 90 minute fucking bullshit. It's every 15 minutes. It's there. I literally could sit there all day long, trade just intraday volatility, just doing what I just told you. And mop the fucking floor with all these fucking people out there talking shit. Selling shit, robots and stuff. It's dumb. It's dumb. You don't need all that stuff. As soon as you take the very first Fair value gap on the 30 second chart after that one minute or five minute disruption in order flow, that stop run and it, that time frame starts to trade lower. The very next candle, when it starts to trade down, okay, you drop down to the 30 second chart and you wait for that little 30 second retracement because it's going to happen. And you look and see where your 10 handles would be. Place your limit order. Put your stop loss in. He risks 12 handles. He's willing to take 12 handles as a hit to take 10 out. What the fuck did he just say? He just said he's using a negative R. Yes, because your reward to risk model bullshit is a myth. It's a fucking myth. You don't even trade with it. You want to talk about it and sell your courses and these people write these fucking books, but they're not trading with these fucking things in mind. Every person that's ever came out there and said that shit, give it enough time, they eventually come clean and say, well, you know, it's theoretical that if you did this, you can get 20 to 1. 
It's theoretical. You can get 200 to 1, but they haven't really done it themselves. But hey, theory sells, right? You don't need to have a fucking 3 to 1, a 2 to 1, or a 1 to 1. If you have a high strike rate, what's a high strike rate? What I just told you. How many times do I tell you something before it happens and it happens? It's real logic. Nobody gets lucky like this, folks. It's, th that doesn't happen. Luck doesn't exist here. It's statistical probabilities rooted in real algorithmic price delivery, not retail logic trying to decipher something that has absolutely no basis on harmonic animal patterns. Elliot Wave horse shit, supply and demand horse shit. It has nothing to do with it. It has nothing to do with it. This stuff is predetermined. It's running on a script, period. That's all it's doing. It's time-based. And you're complicating it, worrying about dumb shit. Oh, it's dropped down. I can't sell short down here. It's been going down. Why the fuck not? It's going somewhere. It's going down to South Town, okay? Below the old low, below the relative equal lows. It's got something down here it wants to visit. It's warmer in the South. It wants to get down there. It needs some sun. I can't do it. I just can't do it, man. It's it's already gone down 100 fucking handles. I can't imagine it going down 35, 55 more where it should fucking go where the liquidity's resting below the lows. Why would it want to do that? <laughs> yeah, I can see why everybody would think that way because that's what all the bullshit artists talk about. The books, the people that don't fucking trade, they sell you all that stuff, like timeshares. Makes it sound like it's a wonderful thing until you get in. You wish you could get out of it. You can't. That just hurt some nice feelings. Fuck. He just knew I wasted money on a timeshare. <clears throat> so once he gets his 10 handles, he's done. But what is he doing after he gets out? He's watching it still go towards that level. So what is it teaching him? What's it teaching him? Discipline? Cookie reward. Huh? Yeah. This is how you follow a rule-based idea. You go in very, very carefully. Do a little bit at a time. You don't need to get into a trade right now to make three times what you're risking. And, and view that as, oh, this is the only way to do it. Because right now, if you're honest with yourself, if you and I were in a, a conversation, it was just you and I. Nobody could hear it. wasn't recorded. I gave you my scouts on us. Promised that there was no way I was going to talk about who you are and what we talked about. And I asked you, right now, you have extraordinary results as a goal, and you won't accept anything less, right? And at first, they might look at me perplexed, like, no, I just want to make money. No, no, no. You want to be next to flawless. Hardly ever, if ever, taking a loss, never putting your stop loss in the wrong place. And you're wanting to find a way to get to that point because you see me doing that many times. And you think that that just happens overnight. No. No. You conquer that bullshit thinking, that toxic way of internalizing your potential or progress in this. By going in and taking out incremental movements towards a goal that's larger. My son's not going to be a 10-handle trader risking 12 handles. That's not what he's going to be. My son's going to be taking down the whole fucking daily range. From high to low, that's what he's going to be doing. But he can't learn that just going out there and just trying to do it from the beginning. You have to grow. You got to become confident after you have had your confidence been kicked in the nuts, basically. That's what he's done with his combines that he tried to do with ignorance, thinking it's going to be like a video game. This is not a fucking video game. It's not a video game. And any fucking clown that says that, show the testimonials from your students. Not the one that just found some market replay horse shit this week. Where are they at the last year? Where's their withdrawals? Where's their profits? I'm producing 
monsters. I'm producing fucking machines, terminators, motherfuckers that's going to be here long after I'm gone, making money, doing it their own fucking way. And not giving a shit what anybody else says about what it is that they learned. Because they went through the process of doing it correctly. Some of you are freaking out saying, my son's trading a 30-second chart. Man, he's in the fast lane. You know, he's doing something that he's not ready for. He's trading price. <laughs> it's the same thing. It's the same thing. Only thing you're doing at that with that time-based chart is you're showing the highest fluctuation and lowest fluctuation for that interval that it is measured the fluctuation of price within that duration of time. That's the only thing that it's recording. But price has done the same thing on all time frames. It's moved up and down to those same price levels. The myopic infancy of fearing lower time frame charts or calling them noise is just a testimony to your ignorance and that's not something that's derogatory it says simply that you don't know what you're doing yet he's learning but he's doing something that i laid before him that is not even a complete model and look what he's doing what did you just say ict you said that's not even a complete model it's not because he's does he doesn't require the level, the higher time frame, take profit level, the draw on liquidity to be even reached. What? Mm -hmm. Yep. If there is this insatiable desire for you to get there faster, I'm hoping that you are encouraged by my son's attempts to do this and his development. He started trading that funded account, and uh, I've since learned that when it, the screen says Express, that's the that's the one that you can take money out of. That was my confusion. I, I thought an Express was the part where you try to get funded. But that's the combine. So, uh, yeah, I don't know very much about it, but he has three past combines, and he activated or paid for one of them to go into a funded account. So he only has one technically funded and two on the sides where I guess if he doesn't do well or if he does want to do more, he can activate them later on. But he started trading it last Friday. And I, I told him, not yesterday, Friday, but the previous week's Friday. And I told him, I said, listen, here's what I want you to do. You can see where the 15-minute, the hourly the four hour and daily lows and highs are they're obvious and right above that or below it is liquidity. You need to have an idea of which one you think the market's going to go to. But if you see a stop run, and this is the part where you guys have been asking, then you talk about it as a model. I'm doing it right now. I'm not going to do a fucking YouTube video about it. Okay. Cause you've already learned this, but because now my son's making real money with it, <laughs> you are interested in that. When it's something that you've already been introduced to, it's been taught at nauseum. And it's simple, isn't it? It's real simple. Everything I've ever taught is simple. But what complicates it is you sitting down and figuring out what you want to do with all that material. I'm not failing you as a mentor by withholding information. You are not doing the work that's required for you to sit in front of these charts and study. And what is it that he's doing? He's looking for predominantly, I told him if if it makes it easier for him to focus on a 15 minute chart or a 60 minute chart. So hourly or 15 minute time frame, he needs to see where the market is likely to draw to. That means if there's two relative equal highs and it's bullish for the day and I lend him that experience, that part I lend to him. So for for those that are out there saying, you know, oh, you're doing it, you're doing all this. If I was fucking doing it, the, buck, the fucking account would be over twelve thousand dollars right now. If I was doing it, it'd be over 12 grand. But he needs to do this. He needs to see what's possible in his own hands. And it's encouraging. And he's 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 doing really well. He's not overconfident. He's actually very pleased. He's like, this is really neat that like you know, 
this is nuts to make this kind of money, which is, I mean, you and I talk and we're adults. We, we, we know what, what $200 a day is. It's, it's nothing. It's literally nothing. But, you know, to an 18 year old who used to work at a coffee shop and grossed $400 a week, but paid twice a month, you know, biweekly, that's something significant to him. So I told him 15 minute chart, 60 minute chart. I'll tell you what I think the bias is going to be for that day. And that'll teach you to focus. That's exactly what I was doing for my paid mentorship students. Every single day, I would tell them the bias. That's what they paid for. They paid for that mentorship. They paid for the experience that I was lending them. And they watched it happen 97, 98% of the time, literally come to pass. And it's all fucking documented. And anybody can say the shit they want to say, but it's all recorded. All time and date stamped all before the fact and ain't a fucking person not one clown can say anything about it and even my own students would have came forward and said it didn't happen and it never happened like that and now you see it because it's for free i'm doing it in front of all of you so i'm mentoring him in a limited limited capacity but requiring him to do all the work but he wants to do the actual button pushing okay 30 second chart. What you need to see is on a one or five minute chart, before you drop down to that 30 second chart, you have already arrived at what you think the market's likely to do. And this is the part that everybody that's brand new or impatient or just wants to watch a five minute fucking trainer video and and think that they are going to figure it out. Let's cut through all the bullshit and too much talk and ICT. You're boring shit. Fuck you. Get up the road. Go watch Joe Schmo. Okay, Mr. Reset. This is the real stuff. This is the part that you need to figure out. How do you trust that the market will go higher or lower? I can't tell you an everyday solution that you're going to trust because sometimes I'll go into the marketplace and my bias may shift because the market will do something that I didn't want to see it do. And because I have experience in the the navigational skills to work within that, the time that it takes me to change my mind, I don't have time to sit down and explain to you what just took place in the chart that made me change my mind. Because I'm looking at a one-minute chart and sometimes less. But remove all that and think about what I teach you on the market reviews and commentaries on the euro dollar. What were we aiming for? That old daily low. That's not support resistance. That's fucking liquidity. We were aiming for a move below the low. That's not support. Okay. We want to see it go down through it. We're targeting to it and through it. That is not fucking support and resistance. We're going in with the idea that the market's going to draw towards those actual orders that would be resting below an old low or above an old high if we're bullish. And you stick with that idea until proven clearly that you're wrong. And that same approach, you use it to every time frame. And for my son, I told him, I said, it'll be easier for you. Not perfect. It doesn't mean it's going to be flawless. You're going to lose. He will lose eventually. It will happen. He will have a losing day that causes him to have to sit still. Will that mean the model is broken? No. Some of you are just waiting for that to happen. Some of you are dying for that to happen. I'm not, I'm not impatient about it. I know it's going to eventually materialize. But he stops. If he follows the rules, he stops. And then he'll think about and have to entertain the idea of what it feels like being in that negative day. But guess what he has? He has the experience of having done it now six days correctly and making over $200. He did more in six days using this model that's not even complete because it's a graduated model. What does that mean? What does that mean? If that hourly or 15-minute time frame draw on liquidity amounts, you think that the market's going to go higher or lower to that specific liquidity then the only thing you're waiting for if you're bearish and i'll give you the example for being bearish 
on the five minute or one minute, there has to be some short term high traded above. Even in a run while the market's been going down, don't think model 2022. That, that, that's not what this is. Okay. It's, it's not that. It can, he can take a trade with that model within that context of, of the market reversing. We don't need that. The market can be going down for the entirety of the day. If it hasn't traded to that 15 minute or hourly sell side liquidity pool, it's not done. His model says aim in that direction. If it's 50 handles to get to that low, doesn't matter. He's not holding for them 50 handles. He's trying to get 10. But why would he do that, ICT? He's supposed to be your son. You know, why would you tell him to do that? Because he's a fucking human being, just like you are. Why aren't you making money with everything I've already taught? Why aren't you out there passing combines? Why aren't you getting fucking taking uh, withdrawals from your express accounts? Why aren't you doing that? Because other people are doing it. So stop putting fucking stupidity in the, in the conversation. He has to learn, just like I had to learn. Every one of us has to go through that process. Learning how to do this takes time. 